select the user make the payment click on make payment and we don't even have that user okay this is it we have it awesome so now still pending we have abandon click on success and let's see the status uh it's still under abandoned so let's go back to the pay stack and click on decline let's see declined what do we have is failed as you can see it's changing real time so let's go back to the status again we try with test card and sources this time around sources so what do we have success as you can see payment was successful hey guys welcome to my new video in this video you're going to learn pay stack split payment oh yes pay stack split payment so before we continue guys guys please do subscribe to my channel which is very very important kindly click this subscribe button so that you can get more updates from me more amazing solution okay so to get started we are going to head down to pay stack land page then click on the documentation over the developer area click on accept payment and here you're gonna find the split payment um, link so click on split payment so you are going to be giving this um documentation so all this documentation we are going to convert it to code in laravel okay so to get started i'm going to be starting a new laravel project i'll go to my folder then go to my document uh my software laravel so inside this laravel folder so you will right click on your laravel folder the inside this laravel folder new terminal out folder will be selected and here we are going to create a new laravel product and a new laravel project so laravel new then the project name is going to be split payment split payment and this is going to initialize the project for you just hold on while the project is being initialized okay this is loading so i'm going to pause this video then continue once it's done okay so now the build is successful then the next thing we're going to do now is to enter this folder and check the project so here we have split payments and everything is installed inside this folder so i'm going to open this folder in my vs code so let me drag it down to the vs code location and vs code is going to process this for us within this place we are going to have this folder so let me open my terminal then php artisan serve just your normal artisan serve query so let's check this on my local now as you can see we have this um pops up for us as the index page so i'm going to be changing this index page um for the development we are working on so i'm going to go to views let me zoom my screen so that you can see it clearly close the um terminal for now within the welcome i will leave the welcome create a new file so this new file is going to be called um let's just call it split dot dot blade dot php so let's call it split so within this split i'm going to introduce a basic um a basic styling so let me just use bootstrap 5 i love using bootstrap 5 for my test project so let me go to bootstrap 5 website bootstrap 5 and let's just use this basic bootstrap 5 layout so that we can get things running quickly so copy then go back to my vs code paste it into this place and take out all this i don't really need all this one take it out take it out and over here we can take this out also then let's introduce bootstrap so as a bootstrap jquery so i'm going to get jquery here jquery jquery cdn so let's get jquery i love getting my jquery from wp school so copy it from here ctrl c and go back to the code paste it into this place and we are set so i will connect these views to my new routes so i'll go to the route location where we have the web.php so instead of returning this kind of view we will not return this welcome view instead we are going to return split view okay so click on save and let's go back to the landing page refresh we have this hello world awesome so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to um create a new controller that is going to handle 
all this um all this creates a sub account initialize the payment um flat fee is not really important you can add flat fee if you really want but the most important part of this split payment is the create sub account and initialize um the split payment oh yes so let's just get started with these two method that we have here method one and method two so to achieve this i'm going to be um creating a new controller called paystack um splits you can just name it anything you want but we just call this paystack splits so open my terminal um create a new terminal into this terminal um, page then here is going to be php artisan make controller controller pay stack call it pay stack pay stack um split let's call it pay stack split and click on enter this controller is going to be created and we go to the um app location http controller and we have the pay stack split then we did this place we were going to perform this transaction but for now let's just hide the terminal so the first um data we have here is create sub account copy this and um, pass it here create sub account so here we're gonna have function function um create sub account sorry sub account and here we are going to pass the require authentication here so here i'm going to be using the normal um post http of laravel normal laravel post http so i'm going to use this http with token so it's very easy to use so we are not going to be using the url since my um my what's it called my github copilot is not getting that it's very simple just head down to laravel.com slash doc slash eight point x then http client so copy what you have on this area where you have barrier token ctrl c then move down to vs code paste it here and let's import this package so i will click on import it's going to import this data to us as you can see we have fucking http as you can see it's also here we are going to see the um, namespace facade what http awesome so once that is um, passed into this place then the next thing we need to now do now to create the sub account is passing your uh, sk key your secret key so i will copy my secret key over here and move down to the vs code paste it in replace of in replacement of token text that we have there so here is my sk key then within this post section we are going to introduce an array and this array is going to be the uh what is it called it's going to be the uh it's going to be the json data that we're sending to laptop that we're sending to paystack the json data we're sending to paystack so i'm going to go back to the http clients just to confirm what we have there so under the http clients as you can see we have the url first then later we have the data so in case you don't understand just refer to this documentation so the url is the first thing then later we have the data we are passing so what is the url that we are trying to append to we are trying to append to this url ctrl c move down to this location and on the first um argument we are going to paste the url for the first argument then the second argument is going to take in our data so business name business name is going to be the name or the name you want to use for your accounts make sure it's corresponding to your account number so in my own case i'm going to use a delay higher dg okay then the bank code is what so this bank code of a thing is not really visible on um, pay stack but i will show you how to just get the bank code to do that just move straight to your uh, home page of this documentation area under this home page scroll down to where you have make a transfer click on next select your country as nigeria click on send request then over here you can just copy this um this code that we have here this source code just copy this snippet that is this select text this select text has all the code you need so in my own case um currently on uba bank so i'm going to look for united united bank for africa which is uba this guy here particularly so i will double click on this code culture c move down to this place paste it into this area then move back to the split payment section then pass the account number so the account number i currently use for my um 
what's it called for my bv um my uba account is what i'm going to type now let me just get it from my phone and paste it into my um system so once i copy from my iphone now i can easily paste it into my um macbook as you can see i paste it from my iphone okay so now this account number is now added what else we need percentage charge so this percentage charge simply means how much do you want to charge this sub account that you are creating for every transaction let's say here yeah, we are trying to make an uh, we are trying to make a payment of twenty thousand euro do you want the entire twenty thousand euro to go for Adelaide or your DG, or you want some part of the twenty thousand to go to your own main account? So if you want part of it to go to your main account, that's ten percent of the money to go to your main account. You can pass this, which is going to go to your main account. So this one is going to go for your main account, and if you pass zero, then the hundred percent is going to go for your sub account. But if you want some percentage, thirty percent is going to go to your what main account. So that's how it work okay so i'm going to click on save now and i believe that's all once we create the sub account then we can initialize the payment so this is passed then the next one we are going to now do now is the initialize payment so i will copy this note paste it here and function initialize payment initialize payment okay so here we are going to also do the same thing here so copy exactly what we have here ctrl c and ctrl v so over here we have a separate url ctrl c then change this to ctrl change it to the url we just copied and for the business name we are not using business this time around it is email so email of the person making the payment on your website so here is not going to be a delay here and the layer are your dg one two three four five at gmail.com then the amount the person is paying the person on your website at the moment the amount is paying so the amount this person is paying is three thousand so if it is three thousand you have to add zero zero to it so that space stack is going to see this as three thousand and this as a couple okay after that then the sub account you are trying to append this transaction to is very important so this sub account is not created yet but once it's created you need to now get the sub account code and pass it down into this place it is very very important to pass that but at the moment we don't have a sub account code that we need to pass so i'm just going to take out this i'm going to take out the percentage because it end at sub account so this account location we are going to look out for it once we initialize this first um create sub account location so once the sub account is created then we can now process the initialized payment using the what the sub account code okay so um in the next section you're going to learn how to do that let me sh cut short this video so it's not going to be longer than it is so i will pause this here and continue in the next section